back to the channel man today we're gonna be talking about the legend tokens guys if you guys did not know you get it almost 25 uh, whole bunch of tokens for completing the the legend challenges in the legend um the legend foot pass so guys as you can see here we get two token here in the legend foot pass and then we can get ourselves an 82 bond to the binding player so basically what i'm gonna go over guys in my opinion instead of getting one player that's an 85 overall with 25 tokens guys i think right now if you can get four players for 25 tokens it will be more crucial to help you to help you build your team right now i'm going to show you why i think it is more crucial check this out guys right now your boy have um an 81 overall team um if you can see right here my left guard is quick sellable and auctionable my right tackle is quick sellable and auctionable and if you look here guys i have pretty good receivers i got mike evans in the Hans ward and Devin Hester, which all of them got above 84 speed. Uh, Hans Ward got 85. My running back is Christian McCaffrey. Quarterback is Jalen Hurts. I'm loving Jalen Hurts. Why do I say, why would I go and pick one player that would not elevate my team? Now, if I can get four players, that would be way more better than just going through here and doing this. Let me explain after I show you guys how to get the tokens. And if you guys have not checked out my other videos, I mean, I give a lot of tips on how to build your team, the best way to build your team without spending any coins guys so if you guys want to go ahead and you get shoot your boy subscribe like share the video man i very much appreciate it let's go ahead and show you guys so the first thing you want to do guys you want to come through here and complete the solar challenges um there's two segments um they're very easy uh 15 stars get all 15 stars you're gonna get almost i think you're gonna get almost 15 uh not 15 you're gonna get at least 20 tokens or 19 one of them once you get to tier 7, so as you guys can see, they are right here. So you're going to get all those tokens, and then plus, you're going to also uh, create, uh, finish the foot pass, which is going to give you two. So now that's going to give you around 23, I think, how much I have? Yeah, I have 22, sorry. So now, instead of completing one set to get you an 85, I'm going to show you why I think it's the best bet to split that into four players. What four players I'm talking about? I'm talking about, for me, I have a Seahawks team team, and I got Greg Olson. Um, Greg Wilson 82 overall guys. This card is a very usable card. Um, the best tight end in the game right now is Greg Olson, but I have Kyle Pitts. If you guys look here, Kyle Pitts and Greg Olson have the same type of stats, the same speed. Right now, beginning of Madden, like the first month or two, is really about who is the fastest. It's not really about coverage. Because right now nobody can run can run routes and nobody can't cover. So as long as you're fast and you can stay with the guy, you're gonna make the right play. So right here. Um, I really like uh, Greg Olsen run blocking, um, even though his, his catching and traffic is not what I want it to be, but he is completely better at an 82 overall, and he is going to improve my team. So that's that's one good 82 you could pick. And then my two my two favorite one is probably uh, the Antonio Comardi uh, right here. Yeah, he's a good 85 overall, but if you check out his 82 overall, guys, this this 82 is, is cracked, man. Let me show you. Y'all boys, boys don't know what I'm talking about. This 82 of all is cracked. He got 84 speed. Right now, my starting corner got 81 speed with my with the team team getting him into 82. And then my second starting corner is, is um Tariq Willing with, with 85 speed. So this dude right here is gonna keep up with Randy Moss, even though Randy Moss got an 86 speed. I feel like to get burned by a receiver, you gotta be three speeds slower to get burned. So an 85 on the 86. Will be just fine if you play playing zone man coverage. I I don't I don't really want to say I don't know because I don't play that much man coverage. Now that's the third player we're gonna pick. Now I mean that's the second player. I apologize. The third player we're gonna pick is Ken Houston as a user six three user guys. Now let's check out his speed right here, man. This man has an eighty three speed, eighty three excel, a seventy six hit power. And an 80 zone coverage as a user. Don't did I mention the fact that he is 6'3? This is a poor man Cam Chancellor right here. And that's what I am. No money spent. We're poor. So right here, this Ken Houston right here would be a perfect card to add to your team. So that's the third guy. Now you got two office alignments. And I just showed you in the beginning that I had a left guard and a right tackle that is that I can sell. Now if I go and put get me Travis Kedrick. And let's go ahead and check out his stats as well. And then you look at this right here. This dude got a, he has an 83 strength, an 82 pass blocking, an 82 run block. 
I think the threshold right now is 80. Anything above 80 would be just fine. So right now, this 82 can start for me and play for me and play very decent. That's the fourth player. Now you go and you add yourself Larry Little. Another right guard that is, I think is very, very, very decent. Uh, he got an 80, 80 blocking, uh, pass blocking, 83 run blocking, and have a lot of status that is over 80, and that's what we're looking for. Right now, instead of getting just one player for 85, I really suggest you guys get four or five players that is our 82 of walls. Uh, let me go ahead and get my, my free. You're going to get one in the foot pass. Let me go ahead and do that right now. All I have to do is complete a set, but which set was it? Was it this set? Am I missing one? I'm missing one. I thought I bought everything I needed to buy, but I'm missing one. Oh, that's the wrong set. I almost put it in the wrong set, guys. I almost put it in the wrong set. Where is it? This is for the tokens. I wanted to make an 82 hero. So I don't have to buy four. I'm tripping. I just bought two uh, elite. So you only had to buy three. So let me just go ahead and do that. And out of this set, we're going to pick uh, Randy Moss. And we're going to sell this one. Because Randy Moss is going for 85K. A lot of people are Randy Moss. And also, Randy Moss is a very good card as well. I didn't show, you know, I didn't even go show y'all his stats. Actually, I'm going to get him in this pack. So boom. That's done. We'll complete that. Um... I got 282, one bound to the body, and one for sale. So let's go ahead and do the one for sale, and then we're going to pick Randy Moss out of this one. Um, let's go ahead and show you his, his stacks. He could be a decent second receiver for you. Let's say if, you, if you're rocking a Mike Evans, just put that Randy Moss on your, in your lineup and then sell Mike Evans just to hold you off to the next thing because the best thing is just stacking up your coins right now, and then when you're ready and there's a coin-making method, there's anything, thing, you'll have the coins to spend. Right here, this Randy Moss got 84 speed again. Route running does not matter right now. All you need is speed. So, Randy Moss with 84 speed is a very good card. You could use him, but in my opinion, I don't really need Randy Moss. Because, like I said, I have three good receivers and they're all buying to the binder. So, there's no point of me going out and buying Randy Moss. So, this is my bond to the binder one. We are going to pick Travis uh, Travis Frederick here as a as a center. So, we now we're going to spend our tokens. Um, I did tell you I, got, I have 82. So right here is the bond to the bond set where you add four tokens is going to get you a free 80, 82 of wall. So we already got Travis Frederick. Now we're going to go ahead and take Antonio Cromartie. We're going to get ourselves Antonio Cromartie. I just feel like that is the best way to go because if you're going to if you're going to spend 25 tokens, you're going to have to wait till next week, which that's that like those tokens would not impact your team. And I feel like if you can get all four of these players right now, they will make a very big difference for me, in my opinion, instead of just one player. And then that one player will probably will never make a play for you too. they throw at him if you pick like Antonio Cromartie. Randy Moss, if you're throwing at him all the time, it is what it is. But I feel like I feel like building a real solid team, like this, building a well solid team can beat any team in the game. All it comes down to is scheme, in my opinion. Okay, that was that was our third player. And the last player we are going to pick is we already got Antonio Cromartie. We already got Travis Kedrick. We already got him. Um, Greg Olson is the last one. And we already got T, uh, JJ Watt. Why, how did we get JJ Watt? We ended up um, doing uh, pulling him from the 70 plus, uh, the 77 plus pack. So we was able to get him. So newest is going to see what we got. So there go our three players. Uh, we're going to sell this Randy Moss right here. Cause we don't really need him right now. 99k. Hold on. Is he going for? Is he is he that expensive? Why has he got three different auction house, man? Are oh, you going for 87? We'll just put him up for 85. Cause that's what I was. That's what I was expecting to sell him for. 85. Boom. We'll take our 85 coins. We're not complaining. Um, I had to complete that set just to get the extra XP to finish the full pass. So that's why I, I had to complete this set. If it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't have completed that set. And then we got to sell this JJ Watt going for, for what, 23K? Just so for 24. We're just putting it up for 23. And give us our coins back. Boom, that's going to put us back about 400K. Now, our four Nats, guys. These cards are going to help us so much. Um, in my opinion, that's what you should do. I did the same thing with uh, 
with the ultimate preseason. Now I have one player that's back, which is Christian McCaffrey. Hans Ward got 86 speed, and we also have Max Crosby. Our next player we're going to upgrade is, is Ray Lewis. But I feel like those cards, having multiple players, oh, we didn't get we didn't get uh, little, bro. We got we to gotta go get little. So having all these cards right here going to definitely boost your team up, like, a thousand percent in my opinion uh, the only thing i hope i hope we can change the 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 team that they play for i think they can because i changed the one on 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 jj watt oh we don't have enough training to then we're gonna give him seahawks cam and now look at that boy now he got 83 speed 85 excel like and then my start that's just that's a starting that's a starting tight end guys um, he, I think he's probably going to be better than that uh, Evan Egram that everybody says is the best tight end in the game. And then we got we to gotta put him over Kyle Pitts. And then he is going to be my starting tight end moving forward, man. And then now we're going to have to add Antonio Cromartie at our second, at our second corner with 84 speed, bro. Which is going to be insane. Well, to be honest, we don't even have to move. Now we got to keep him there because he's the fastest guy. And then we're going to use um, Troy Vincent in the slot. And I think Troy Vincent will go crazy in the slot. And then we're going to put Ken Houston probably as a backup here. Um, he's going to be a backup here. With 83 speed, he is going to be one of our users. And then we also we also have Jordan. We got him from completing the the Mutt Champ. So as you guys can see here, man, we are just upgrading the team a lot just by just using those token, bro. That's why I'm saying the the best way is to just get four players instead of just one. And either way, and if you want to wait and get a 8504 player, I'm not saying it's a bad move. I just feel like, in my opinion, to get five players instead of one. I think it's better, in my opinion. And also, nobody wants to spend money on the office alignments, man. So that's another good reason why I think it's the right. This is the right move. Oh shoot, we already have a right guard, do we? We need we need a left guard. Damn it. Oh, we already have a right guard. We need a left guard, man. Damn. All right, that's fine. We're gonna sell one of these one of these guards, bro. He's an 81, and this guy's an 80. So it really don't matter because he's still going to be straight. As long as he stay above the 80, that's fine. We already know he gets a lot of good. He is way better. And now guess what I got to do? Now I get to make another 17, 20K because I use Larry Little as my lineman, bro. And where's the lineman that we just replaced him with? He's an 80 overall. Where is him? Where is he? Dude, don't hide for me. You about to get sold. Don't hide for me. Don't hide for me, man. Where is he? Right here. So we're going to go ahead and sell him, man. He is going for 43K. That's easy, easy money right there, man. Easy coins. Now I'm going to get my 40K back. And then guess what we're going to use? We're going to use Larry Little. And I think Larry Little is probably better than this guy. And just make your coins and just build your team that way. That way you can have your coins, man. Coins and coin is king. So go ahead and use your tokens. Let me know what you guys think about this way of, of using the token. Let me know if you guys like it. If you guys don't, put it in the comments. If you guys do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more videos. Man, definitely, I have a lot more videos that's going to help you build your team very easily, man. If you make it to the end, bro, you're a G. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Your boy out. Peace.